Okay, so the rest week party is this next Wednesday, and I put you on guest list duty. So I'm going to need an invitation outline and a rough draft of the guest list by tomorrow so I can approve of it. And remember, the theme of this year is Vegas, so try to make everything loud and bright. I was thinking maybe making the invitations like $100 bills or something. Hello? Can you get off your stupid phone and listen to me? Earth to Emerson. Yeah, Bella, don't worry. I've been listening this whole time. You said something about being vague. Why would you ever send out vague invitations? Vegas. I'm talking about the theme of our biggest party of the year. Em, I'm really going to need you to pay attention. I'm not going to let this party go to hell just because you can't pay attention. Bella, I care, and I swear I'm going to help. When did you say you needed an invitation to guest list by? Um, I said tomorrow before 9 o'clock. <laughs> like tomorrow tomorrow? Yes. Is that going to be a problem? Well, I kind of had a date that I really don't want to cancel. So do you think I can give it to you by Sunday morning? Emerson, you're my best friend and I care deeply about you, but I also care about Kai Gamma Omega and you're also the VP social chair and you've been slacking so much lately. You've been ditching all these meetings and events to go on some damn dates and you won't even tell me who you're going on these dates with. Like, you could be dating some serial killer, Emerson. Okay, and do you even go out with the same guy twice? What kind of image are you giving Kai Gamma Omega? I cannot believe you. You know what? Go on your stupid dates with your stupid boys, but I better have what I need by Sunday. And this is the last time that I'll let this slide. Look, just extend the deadline and I'll have it done by Sunday. Fine, but if I don't have what I need, I swear I'll kill you. Good. Bella's gone to the store, so I don't know what time she'll be back. Oh yeah, she's planning for the rush party. What are you doing tonight? Do you think you can help me plan a few things? No, I have a date tonight. Sorry, I can't. Oh yeah, another date with a mystery guy. You know, when are you going to let us meet one of these mystery men? When one of them earns more than the first date. Trust me, something you really don't want to meet. What is he, a serial killer? Or worse, an actual gentleman? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Maybe I have really good taste in guys, like y'all would know. You're right, we wouldn't know. We've never met a single guy you've been on a date with, and you go out almost every week. He's here. It's nice to finally meet, meet you. you. So I'm just kind of nervous, I guess. It's my first time. Your first date? That too. Um, that's kind of surprising. I mean, you seem like a nice guy. I'm. Um, just kind of weird, I guess. I don't mean to be rude, but it smells in here. Did someone die in your car or something? Well, no, no, what? No, it's my, I think it's my dirty gym bag. Oh, you play sports. What do you play? No, I uh, just go to the gym to, you know. So then, what do you play? I play guitar. Hey, where are we going? Oh, this is nice uh, dinner spot up there. We can go there. There were just so many little types of ice cream. Can you offer them? It's not bad, but what I mean is that there are just so many options. When I look in the glass, I know they're wrong. I like to have a Jerry Tucks. The one is always the other. Mm -hmm. So you're a VP at Chinsi Gudama Way or whatever, and you eat vanilla ice cream, and I bet if I looked at your phone, I'd probably find that you carry on your good songs. So why are you middle, why are you on a date in the middle of the rush? Do you want me to this answer? Huh. Why? Well, the reason I'm here with you is because you give off like a vibe. When I think of you, and it's not how others think, I think there's some edge in this, sir. I can see there's something more.
Um, would you like to go back to my place after this? Yeah, actually, I love that. So this is my place. I actually live here with my parents. Wait, what? Then how are you going to murder? I mean, get stuff done around here. Well, they're actually gone a lot of times, so. Oh, that makes sense. Look, Arson, I'm not usually this blunt, but when are you going to murder me? I mean, I don't get it. We're your knives, guns, and death mutilated body parts. You were supposed to be a serial killer and kill me. Don't you get that's what I found hot about you? Now you've just gone and ruined it. He had it all going for you. You were charming, mysterious, and I could have bet my life that you were going to end my life. I've never been wrong about a guy before. Hold on a second. Are you saying that you're going to like me because I was trying to kill you? That's honestly more psychotic than me wanting to murder you. I mean, don't you get it? I am a serial killer. Just, you're my first victim. I guess the whole psychology degree is coming handy, ain't it? And the whole time, while I was watching you through a window, you were watching me? I mean, is that kind of ironic? So, I mean, this might sound crazy, but would you like to go on a second date?